No position in fantasy football has seen its stock rise more in the past few years than the wide receiver position. Taking a wideout with the first overall pick of your draft was unheard of in the fantasy world over the past couple of decades. But that's all changed in 2016 with a trio of superstars occupying the top three spots in many fantasy drafts. Most drafts are also seeing at least five and as many as seven wide receivers coming off the board in the opening round. Needless to say, the wide receiver position is an awfully important one heading into this year's fantasy season. And we're here to help you get an edge as we present to you our top 15 wide receivers for the 2016 fantasy football season. We begin at number 15, Brandon Cooks. With an increased workload in his sophomore season, Brandon Cooks proved that he is capable of producing like a WR1, finishing 11th among wideouts with 169 fantasy points. He got off to a slow start, scoring just one touchdown in his first seven games. But from week eight to week 16, Cooks averaged 14.6 fantasy points per contest. And at 22 years of age, he is only getting better. You can count on him to produce some solid fantasy numbers once again in 2016. At number 14, Sammy Watkins from the Buffalo Bills. Last season, we were treated to a glimpse of what 2014 fourth overall pick Sammy Watkins is capable of. Of the 13 games he did play in, the Bills wideout recorded double-digit fantasy points in eight of those contests. And much like the man before him on this list, Watkins too did his best work down the stretch, averaging 17.3 fantasy points over his final six games. If he and Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor can stay healthy, there's definitely top 10 potential here. At number 13, Keenan Allen. Playing in his third season in the league last year, Keenan Allen appeared to be on the verge of a breakout campaign. Through his first seven games of the season, he had 62 receptions for 690 yards, but in week eight, he suffered a lacerated kidney in a game against the Ravens, ending his season before the halfway mark. We're banking on Allen staying healthy and playing in all 16 games for the first time in his NFL career in 2016. If he can do that, his fantasy owners should reap the benefits. At number 12, Demarius Thomas. With plenty of questions at the quarterback position for the Denver Broncos, many are expecting a down year for Thomas in 2016. But here's the thing, in his first year as a starter in 2011, with Tim Tebow as his quarterback, Thomas averaged 106 yards per game and scored four touchdowns during his team's final five regular season games and two playoff contests. He also managed to haul in 105 catches for 1,304 yards and 6 TDs in 2015 despite some subpar quarterback play from Peyton Manning and Brock Osweiler. Drops have plagued Demarius Thomas as of late, but the dude is still a threat on the outside. Look for him to continue to produce big fantasy numbers no matter who is throwing him the ball. At number 11, Alshon Jeffrey. With Brandon Marshall gone to the Big Apple, 2015 was Alshon Jeffrey's first season as the Bears' number one wideout. And it ended up being a major disappointment. He missed seven games with various injuries, and he managed to score double-digit fantasy points in just four of the nine games he did play in. If he can stay healthy and get some decent quarterback play from Jay Cutler, Jeffrey should easily return to his form from 2013 and 2014 when he was a top 12 fantasy wide receiver. Those are some pretty big ifs, though, so be careful with Jeffrey. At number 10, Amari Cooper. Wide receivers tend to have a tough time adjusting to the NFL in their first season, but 2015 fourth overall pick Amari Cooper still delivered some solid production while making the Pro Bowl in his rookie year. He started off strong with double-digit fantasy points in three of his first four games and five of his first eight, but he cooled off considerably down the stretch. I expect more consistency from Cooper in his sophomore season. Look for him to break out in a big way. At number nine, Brandon Marshall. After going seven straight seasons with at least 80 receptions and 1,000 yards, Brandon Marshall had a rough 2014, recording just 61 receptions for 721 yards in 13 games. Some saw that as the beginning of the end of Marshall's time as a star fantasy wideout, but he proved the naysayers wrong with a monster 2015 campaign. In his first year as a Jet, Marshall managed to fit in quite nicely, finishing third among all wide receivers in fantasy points. With Ryan Fitzpatrick now under contract, look for more big things from Marshall this season. At number eight, Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson was looking like a top five fantasy wideout heading into last season, but then he got hurt. He's expected to be fully healed after his torn ACL heading into 2016. In his last full season in 2014, he finished second among NFL wide receivers in fantasy points with 230. 
If he can regain that form following a full year on the sidelines, there's no reason to believe that he and Aaron Rodgers can't light the fantasy world on fire once again. At number seven, Allen Robinson. Heading into his sophomore season in 2015, many were comparing the 6'3", 215-pound Jaguars wide receiver Allen Robinson to 6'2", 220-pound Cowboys wideout Dez Bryant. And what happened? Well, A-Rob went out and proved that he can produce numbers similar to his Cowboys counterpart. Robinson broke out in a big way, finishing fourth among wide receivers with 224 fantasy points. With both he and Blake Bortles entering their third year together, look for both of them to continue their rise to fantasy stardom in 2016. At number six, Dez Bryant. Speaking of Dez, he comes in at the number six slot. Much like his quarterback, Tony Romo, Bryant's 2015 season was also an absolute bust. In nine games, he had just 401 yards, three touchdowns, and 58 fantasy points. Now that's an average of just 6.4 fantasy points per contest, which is absolutely terrible, especially for a player that was going in the top two rounds of every draft. The good news is that with a healthy Tony Romo from 2012 to 2014, Dez did put up 12, 13, and 16 touchdowns in each season respectively. If he and both Romo can stay healthy, Bryant should be in for another 1,200 plus yards and double digit touchdowns. At number five, AJ Green. Few wide receivers have been as consistent as AJ Green over the past five seasons. Since joining the league as the Bengals' fourth overall pick in 2011, Green has missed just four games while totaling over 1,000 yards in each of his five years in the league. He finished a very respectable eighth among wide receivers in fantasy points last season, and he'll be relied on heavily in the passing game with the departures of Marvin Jones and Mohamed Sanu during the offseason. It may seem like he's been dominating opposing corners in the NFL forever now, but Green is only 28 years old and still has plenty of big fantasy seasons left in him. At number four, DeAndre Hopkins. During the 2015 season, the Houston Texans fielded a quartet of quarterbacks that included Brian Hoyer, Ryan Mallett, TJ Yates, and Brandon Whedon. That's scary. And by scary, we mean scary bad. Those guys are terrible. But even that terrible quarterback situation didn't stop DeAndre Hopkins from asserting himself as one of the league's top young wideouts as he finished third among receivers in yards and six in fantasy points. The addition of Brock Osweiler during the offseason should be an improvement at the QB position, so look for an even bigger season from Hopkins in 2016. At number three, Julio Jones. The 2015 season was Julio Jones' best of his career thus far, finishing first among receivers in targets and yards. He also finished tied for first with Antonio Brown in receptions and second to Brown in fantasy points. Despite entering his sixth season in the league, he's hitting his prime at the tender age of 27. In his past two seasons, he's averaged 120 receptions for 1,732 yards and seven touchdowns. If he can stay healthy, there's no reason to believe that he can't surpass those totals in 2016. At number two, Odell Beckham Jr. Odell Beckham took the NFL and the fantasy football universe by storm during his rookie season in 2014. Despite missing the first four games, he still finished fifth among receivers in fantasy points thanks to his 1,305 yards and 12 touchdowns. And to prove his rookie year was no fluke, he followed up that performance with 1,450 yards and 13 touchdowns during his sophomore season. That was good enough to rank him fifth in fantasy points among wide receivers once again, although he likely would have finished second or third had he not been suspended for one game following his on-field battle with Panthers cornerback Josh Norman in week 15. If Beckham can keep his cool, avoid the injury bug, and play a full 16-game season for the first time in his career, this could be the year when he takes over the top spot among fantasy receivers. At number one, Antonio Brown. But until Beckham snatches it from him, that top spot still belongs to Antonio Brown, and rightfully so. AB has finished first among fantasy receivers in points in each of the last two seasons, and in 2016, he'll get to face one of the easiest schedules for fantasy wideouts, beginning with a week one matchup against the Redskins team that gave up the third most fantasy points to wide receivers last season. Brown is already being taken first overall in most fantasy drafts this year, and his schedule should allow his owners to reap the rewards early and often. If you're wondering what Brown can do for you, just take him with your first overall pick, sit back, and enjoy the 2016 fantasy football season. Who do you think will be the top fantasy wide receiver in 2016? Join us in the comments section below. 
If this helped with your upcoming fantasy football draft, be sure to click the like button as it helps us out a ton. And if this is your first time here, subscribing is a great idea because we put out plenty of videos like this and other sports related content on a daily basis. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.